The divine speaks. Build up, build up a highway. Clear a road now. Remove all obstacles that are scattered in the pathways of all humankind. I've struck you people of earth. (laughs) I've turned away from you in my wrath. You follow the way of your hearts. We've become discouraged about the injustices we see in the world everywhere. But God did not promise us that the world would be humane and just. God gives us the gift of life and allows us to choose the way we will use our limited time on this earth. We are deeply and properly bewildered. Human rights are being violated on every continent. More people are oppressed than free. How can we not be sensitive to their plight? Human suffering anywhere concerns people everywhere. Ours is a time of almost daily astonishment over the latest degradations of the things that matter most to civilized, visionary people. We scream into the void with a full voice, without any restraint, with the cry out like a sound of a shofar. Why, when we fasted, why did you not see us? Why, when we starved during your fast day, did you not take heed? The divine speaks. Because your fast is due to your own strife. Your fast is not one to make your voice heard. Is this what you think I want? A day for people to starve their bodies? No. I saw you, says the divine. I saw your fast, but I also saw you. You sat by while your leaders in the highest places have spoken racist words of hate, have put down the rights of all genders and sexes, and mocks those with those with different abilities. (laughs) Neutrality helps the oppressor, never the oppressed. Silence encourages the tormentor, not the tormented. The history of progress is in the blood of the people who have dared to espouse an unpopular cause. As, for instance, a black man's right to his body or a woman's right to her soul. The work, the work is ongoing. Racist and anti-racist are not fixed identities. We can be a racist one minute and anti-racist the next. What we say about race one minute We can be racist in that one minute and anti-racist in the next. So what we say about race, what we do about race in each and every moment determines not who we are, but what we are. No, the divine speaks. This is the fast I desire. Actively pursue freedom. Actively pursue equality. Work at food pantries, shelter the homeless, feed the hungry. Protect the bodies of those who are wrongly attacked. Protect those who are being killed in the street because of the color of their skin. Honor the pronouns of those who have different sexualities and different gender identities and different gender expressions of all peoples. Amplify the voices that have been stamped out over years of systematic, intentional systematic oppression actively dismantle the fascist, racist, biased systems wherever and whenever they occur. People of color don't need to twist themselves into knots trying to navigate us as painlessly as possible. No, it is our white people's responsibility to be less fragile. Get over the fear of facing the worst in yourself. You should instead fear unexamined racism. Fear the thought that right now, right now you could be contributing to the oppression of others. You might not even know it. Do not fear those that bring oppression to light. Do not fear the opportunity to do better. But most importantly, Most importantly, my family, my people of humankind, most importantly, do not lose heart. 
I urge you, I ask you, I pray for you, do not, do not lose hope. Look out over the prow, look out. There are millions of boats of righteous souls on these waters with you. Do not lose heart. Do not grow overwhelmed by all the unmended, all that needs fixing. Do not feel weakened by the sadness and brokenness that is too far beyond your reach. Do not lose heart. Ours is not the task of fixing the entire world, but stretching out and mending the part of the world that is just within our reach. Any small, calm thing that one soul can do to help another soul to assist in some portion of the poor suffering in this world, that will help immensely. Then when you call out to something greater than yourself, the divine, then when you call out, then maybe you shall be answered. When men share with women and all peoples the responsibility of bringing up the next generation, when our lives no longer belong to us alone, but belong to all of those who need us desperately, then you will have honored your heritage. Then your ancestors and the generations who have passed and future will be proud of you. When you have done just that small handful of calm things that one soul can do to help another soul. Then, then your light shall shine so bright, even in the darkness, your love, your love, your love will lift the darkness of others. There's no feel good reward at the end of all of this. There's no reward other than the knowledge that you are doing it because it is right. You are doing it because it is the right thing to do. You won't be celebrated for it. You won't get any ally cookies for it. <laughs> You'll have to learn to wean yourself off of the instant gratification and instead develop a consciousness for doing what is right even if no one ever thanks you. Then, then maybe something will take heed. The most powerful action that you can take in the stormy, uncalm waters of this world is to stand up and show your soul.